Hello, Dazzlings, Dazzlets, and newcomers. My name is Aria, and today I'm bringing you a story time. This story time I talked about in my last Benny and the Ink Machine video. I got catfish this summer, and the way I did was kind of pathetic. So, if you guys remember Dante, my ex-boyfriend who cheated on me with Ivy, he's shown up way too much in my videos. Well, ever since him, I haven't really dated anyone. Well, there was this one guy, but that's a whole different story time I want to make in total. So, I hadn't exactly dated ever since Dante, and that was about three years ago, now going on four. I moved on from him. I don't miss him or what he did for me. One time while we were dating, I used all of my money to buy him a Christmas present. I bought him Monster Hunter for the Xbox One. That game was very expensive. And you know what he bought me? A black hoodie. Best present ever! Anyway, <laughs> enough about Dante. I only bring him up because I don't miss him exactly. I miss the feelings he gave me. The love and attention I got was really nice, and I liked how I could walk around the halls and say, yeah, this is my boyfriend. Also, good morning texts. I don't know about you guys, but getting a good morning beautiful text for the first time made my heart literally explode. All in all, I just missed those feelings, and I'm now trying to get those feelings with my current crush. However, he's trying to get his life together before he gets in another relationship. Hence why I like him so much. He has his goals straight. So I'm just cheering him on from the sidelines. Supporting him, being a nice friend. So while I'm doing this, I get a message from a guy on Instagram. I have a personal Instagram that has my face and is mainly for my family to see my videos and stuff like that. Tell me if you guys want me to make an Aria Instagram. <laughs> Either way, I get a message from a guy named Chris. His username had Chris in it, so I'm guessing that's what his name was. I honestly don't care at this point. No witch hunt, okay? In the back of my mind, I'm thinking, okay, a guy just DMs me, hi, with a smiling emoji. We don't know each other, and from the other experiences with guys online, I think I know where this is gonna go. But I decided to entertain this. If anything, I could steer him away if it got too weird. So I responded, hey. It started off as a nice chatting. He told me that he was texting me because he was new to Instagram and wanted to make friends. <sighs> the first red flag should have been that obvious lie. I looked through his page. He's been on Instagram for a while. But I didn't check at the time, so I just ignored it. We talked about games we like, what kind of music we were both into, small banter. In the back of my head, my smart side said, Okay, just keep it in the friend zone. Everything will be fine if you just stay like this. A new friend. A new friend is fine. But, but I kept getting this feeling in my heart, like, A guy's paying attention to me. He wants to hear what I have to say. <sighs> Okay, I'm looking back on this and realizing just how idiotic I sounded. I have guys who pay attention to me all the time. My dad, my brothers, and my uncles. They all pay attention to me and care about me, no matter what. But Arya was trying to fall in love, unknowingly, so she pushed these people aside. Anyway, every time we talked, we'd be asking how each other's day went, what we did, if we saw a movie, which one, small talk. But then, one night, he said it was cute. The voice in the back of my head started screaming at me. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it was gonna go down this path! But yet again, my heart decided to crumble and be like, he called us cute. A guy hasn't called us cute in a long time. Ahem! I don't need a boy to call me cute. I have a man that calls me cute every gosh dang day. And that man, once again, is my dad. Shout out to Daddy Aria. Love you, Dad. Unfortunately, I forgot that entirely and started to fall in love. He was flirting with me, sending me the smug emoji and calling me adorable. 
which made my heart just swell. <laughs> like I said, I hadn't had a guy pay attention to me romantically in three years, so it felt nice, and I told him so. But after that night, I sent him a picture of me in bed. Don't worry, I had clothes on. In fact, I was wearing a hoodie, so the only skin you could see was my face. I sent him that picture and waited for him to reply, and nothing. I waited a few hours and even texted his second Instagram page. Yeah, he has two. One personal, one for music. No response. So after a while, I checked my phone, wondering what's wrong, and I can't find the chat. Or when I look it up, it's just my profile picture. He blocked me. After talking for about a week and flirting with me, he blocked me. I was so confused as to why he did this and started to talk myself down. You must have done something to upset him. You must have said something wrong. You're ugly. Guys will never like you. You're fat. Who would like someone like you? And I took those things I told myself to heart and I started closing myself in. I tried to keep it a secret and put on all black just because I was trying to hide it. My dad saw me, knew something was wrong immediately, and tried to get me to talk about it. Also, side note, my dad was going to drop me off at praise team rehearsal for my church, so this next section happened in the car. He started asking me if I was okay or not, that I wasn't looking my normal self, and that's when the tears started. I started sobbing, telling him everything, how I felt like boys were will never like me, how I felt hurt and betrayed by this guy I don't even know, how I talked myself down and called myself fat and ugly. My dad told me this, and I will never forget it. Arya, I've told you every day that you are beautiful and amazing. This little boy is just immature and doesn't know a good thing when he sees one. If anything, it could have been a mad trying to get you to send nudes and when you wouldn't, decide to dip out. You can't put so much trust into people you don't know. You want attention? I'll give you all the attention you could ever want. You want love? I will smother you with all the love I can offer. The right guy will find you someday. You've just got to be patient. These little boys can't offer you anything more than your family can. After that, we got to the church, I gave my dad a huge hug, and he gave me a kiss on the cheek. He told me he loved me, and I told him I loved him. The rest of rehearsal was fine, and afterwards, I told my mom what happened, and she gave me almost the same lecture. I guess the moral of the story is, if you feel like no one likes you, and you'll never find that one person who will be there for you, you just need to confide in the people you know love you, whether it be your family, your friends, or even me. Just go and fill up on the love they're giving you. Also, don't trust cute guys or girls DMing you on social media. Usually, they're always trying to get something out of you. Well, anyway, that's all from me. If you guys like this story time, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to make him a dazzling or a dazzle today. If this is the first video you've ever seen by me, you're no longer a newcomer, welcome to the family. And as always, guys, I'm Aria, and I will see you all next time. Bye bye I show you every